you know, I remember um, when Chris died, you know, Vicki called me a couple of hours after that to ask me for help. Not as some insurance lawyer, but as a friend. And I ended up doing a lot of speaking um, in connection with Chris's death and the circumstances surrounding his death, his legacy. And I remember because I was actually going out to run a marathon, actually. Um, this marathon is luck would have it. Fargo, North Dakota, um, the weekend following Chris's death. I was thinking about Chris, um, ever present in my thoughts on that run. And I thought, you know, it's a shame that Chris won't get to be out here in Los Angeles at the Roxy again. It's a shame we won't get to hear him. I would love to hear his music. And then it's like, I just paused while I'm thinking. I didn't pause while I was running. That's a bad thing to do in a marathon. But I paused in my thinking and I thought, the fact that Chris is no longer with us doesn't mean that we can't have Chris's music. My job was pretty much the mechanic. I, I got the bits and pieces and put it together into cohesive stuff. Kirk was really the brains of, of the operation. Had a lot to do with the input for the songs that people did. The people obviously chose what they wanted to do because it's wildly important to be connected to this piece of art, right? And how you approach a Chris Cornell song is with a diaper. His heart was so big and he loved him. He loved others so much more than himself. And I see that in every single one of his songs. First of all, I felt really honored, and and second of all, I was like, yeah, obviously I want to be a part of this project. Like, I mean, <laughs> what an incredible tribute to a fantastic artist, you know? In general, I really gravitate towards music that's honest and emotional and raw, and basically all of his songs, you know, fit that, those categories. I Am The Highway was a great Mustangs thing. It allowed us to do our vocal thing that we do. And uh, it was a great for Sherry's guitar stylistically. These songs, they're not your traditional covers. They're not clones. They're songs that Chris wrote, that Chris performed. But Chris inspired these artists to deliver them in a way that they own. Um, without trying to do any battle with the originals. The originals will never be beat. They won't be. But that's not what music is. Music is not a sport, you know what I mean? Music's art, and music is communication. And there's a lot of different languages. One song can be represented a thousand different ways. And if every time it's rep we represented, it touches someone else's heart, then it's all good. It's all the same song reaching more people. So what do we hope to do with this? We hope to remind people of what a terrific musician Chris Cornell was, what a great writer he was, we hope to reintroduce people to Chris that maybe have let his memory slide a little bit. We hope to introduce a new audience to our new versions of Chris Cornell songs. We hope to increase the profile of the Chris and Vicki Cornell Foundation. Most of all, we hope we make Chris proud with what we've done with his music. He gave us a great starting point. We've tried to live up to it. When you listen to these songs, I hope you agree that our artists have done a pretty good job of honoring Chris Cornell.